Spyro! My, my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorceress. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, too. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. Ha <laughs> ha! This pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape. If you were to pay me, say, a small fee. Don't worry, Spyro. Sheila won't stay in jail forever. The sorceress is thinking about having her executed next Thursday. I'm getting paid a fortune to... Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday. But for the time being, it's making me rich. <laughs> I uh, hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. That's good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon you'd be one of them dragons then. Yeah, name's Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out of the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit anytime you like. again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Hiya, Sheila. While you were gone, a bunch of rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. and Pete up there using your air hop. It's easy. Just press the jump button again at the top of your jump. Follow Bob... and Pete up there using your air hop. Steep cliffs like this one with your double jump. Press the jump button, then press it again exactly when you hit the ground to do a double jump. 
Once you've mastered it, you can go anywhere you want. You can get up. At last. Here, I was saving this to make an omelette, but I think you deserve it more. Last time we tried to get past this moose, he knocked Billy clean through a wall. If you don't mind, we'll just hang out here while you give him a good kicking. Last time we tried to get past this moose, he knocked Billy clean through a wall. If you don't mind, we'll just hang out here while you give him a good kicking. This next guy is a wuss. You go ahead and take him out. We'll get you back. This next guy is a wuss. You go ahead and take him out. We'll get your back. I'll just keep kicking this rock until it breaks. Yeah. Don't worry. Hey, Sheila, let's play a joke. Take this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. Have taken over. There'll be no stopping them unless we can smash their huts. 
They're too big to smash with your kick attack, though. Try using your stomp attack to smash them instead. I'll confuse the Rhinox with taunts while you stomp their huts, okay? You remember how to stomp, don't you? Just jump, then press the action button in the air. <laughs> I think my taunting is wearing them down. Remember, just jump and press the action button to stomp those huts. <laughs> I think my... for their help, Sheila. Oh, you can have this egg I found in my house. <laughs> if you ever forget how to control a character or vehicle, just go to the pause menu and select controls. Spyro, 
If you bring someone back from each of the five worlds, we'll have enough weight to pull down this balloon for you. Hi, Spyro. If you